growing asset base? That's a good question. I would uh, answer that. I would say in the first quarter, actually, stocks didn't rise, but but they've risen a lot in April. And, but they didn't go down either. I mean, they were pretty much flat. And we did invest $5 billion or so in equities. Uh, did we change our standards? You know, I don't think so. But, uh, you know, you, you, you can't be 100 percent sure that you haven't, you know, if you haven't had a date for a month, you know, it, it, you may say that was a girl you would have dated the first day, but who knows? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know for sure the answer, but I, I, I think I think we would have dated that girl the first day. And the the second question, in, in terms, of, does it re, does it reflect uh, giving up on finding an elephant to acquire in terms of a business? The answer to that is no. We've got. We would sell socks if we really, I mean, that would not be a problem if we really needed to, to buy a really big business. So uh, we're as prepared as we've ever been prepared to buy a big business outright. We hope we do. We hope we buy some relatively small ones if they're attractive. We bought a very attractive business, a, a TTI run by Paul Andrews, terrific business in the first quarter. and. Uh, you know, I wish it was five times the size, but maybe it will be someday. But we know that we're in with the kind of person we want and the kind of business we want. And if we find larger ones, one way or another, we'll swing them. Charlie? Yeah, the one thing I think we can promise you is that we won't make returns on average in the kind of stuff we're buying now, like those that we made 10 or 15 years ago. Yeah. We won't come close. No, no. It's, it's a different world with more modest expectations. And we hope you share them.